today we are going to do another activity that has been taken from your book and which book is it marigold class 4 ncert and you know from which chapter does the activity come from the chapter is alice in wonderland so to get to this activity open your book and turn to page number 71 so let's see what do we have to do in this activity so it is the part of the section let's write and this is question number 4 alice follows the strange rabbit because she wants to know a number of things rearrange the words to make the questions that alice has in her mind and put a question mark so these are the questions that were coming in alice's mind but they are in jumbled order these sentences are not in the correct order all the words are jumbled so we have to put the correct word at first and the correct word at the last so we have to rearrange them and at last we have to put a full stop no because these are questions we have to put a question mark you are absolutely right so now we'll read the first sentence that is talk rabbit a how can so in these in this group of words we will first find out which word is the word that would pose a question that could pose a question the word is how so the first word that would come here would be how so how would come first next can be can what would it be can so the second word would be can so now to make a sentence we have to add a noun okay so after how can which word will come will talk come will rabbit come or a come so after how can the word will come a then rabbit and at last talk so we we'll put the sentence according to the numbers that i have written above it so the sentence would be how can a rabbit talk next we have going he is where so the first word would be the word that would pose the question that would be where where is he going would would it be where he is going no when we pose a question the helping verb comes at first then the subject and then the main verb so the sentence would be where is he going question mark next we have read he can time the read he can time the in this sentence we don't have any word from the wh family which poses questions generally but we do have can can also poses questions so we will write first the first word would be can then he read the time can he read the time at last it would is the sentence is hurry is in a why he so we have the word why here which would pose the question so we'll put it in first so why is he in a hurry that would be the proper question why is he in a hurry so we arranged all the jumbled uh, jumbled words into proper correct meaningful sentences and we have put question marks in the end to indicate that these are questions these are questions that were coming in alice's mind while she was following rabbit so we are done with this activity we'll meet next time with another fun activity poem or story until then bye bye